This episode's called Heaven and Earth. It's written by Luke Scalehaus, yeah. a very talented writer. Heaven and Earth refers to a line that Jamie tells Fergus. You would move heaven and earth. You would risk arrest and death. Even hell. Heaven and Earth, the title really should refer to that Ron Moore is in heaven to be shooting with ships because his company, Tall Ship Productions, you've been waiting a long time of course, yeah. to do something on ships. And Luke, who wrote this episode, uh, I was giving him a lot of credit. He did a lot of research mm -hmm. and really like sweated all the details, correct nautical terminology and the nomenclature and the way they did things on Royal Navy ships of the era. The HMS Porpoise, the British Man of War, was fixed. So it, it was immovable. So this, we're, we're always beholden to the sun. Wherever the sun goes, we have to adjust the cameras. The sun can be very unforgiving. The nice thing about the porpoise, though, is that it was massive. It was built on a scale of an actual British man of war. There's 74 cannon, is five times the size as the Artemis, and it's really cool. A lot of professionalism in the Royal Navy came about in a later era. Terry, uh, our costume designer, was talking about how uniforms were not as uniform as we think. Yeah. You know, what, what I thought of as naval uniforms of, uh, of the Royal Navy were actually much later as well, so a lot of things were sort of still developing. I loved what Terry did with Claire in this episode. She looks very Katherine Hepburn-ish. Terry had a challenge to find something that would be comfortable for the actors, um, and yet they could be on the ship, then it would look authentic. I love the ponytail Claire's wearing for the first time. She just has a whole different look that I think really is cool for the ship episodes. Yeah. And then the burial at sea, we researched quite extensively, and we built the platform up, and we put dummies in with weighted cannonball. We did exactly what you would do. We sewed them up so it was they were completely uh, authentic. We had a, a deep tank and we got the camera underneath. Uh, it, it ended up being a, quite a moving episode uh, in a lot of ways. Elias, I think when he dies, I just dare you not to cry during that moment. Kat is, gives such wonderful performance as does the uh, actor who played young Elias. The rabbit's foot, it goes right along with the theme mm -hmm. that we're playing that this is somehow tied to, to Brianna in a way. It could have been any talisman we chose, but we chose Rabbit's Foot because of it kept the theme going of the rabbit from, from Culloden, from Culloden mm -hmm. to the bunny in the crib. And you touch right. it through the season and, and, and then when it'll right. finally pay off. But there's something nice when, when we plan it out like that and yeah. it comes to fruition.